Hi everyone at Castle School. Lovely to see you. Today I wanted to show you how to make some salt dough. I've made this yesterday and you can see it's really good for modelling and for rolling out and cutting out with um, cookie cutters or making your own shapes and pressing things into it. So I made this yesterday and I put some yellow food colouring into it. Today I'm going to show you how to make some with red food colouring. So what you'll need is plain flour, salt, some water that's just boiled so it's going to be hot and we need to take care with that and vegetable oil, oil some food colouring and a bowl. So into the bowl I'm going to put one cup of flour and one cup, sorry half a cup of salt. You can use a spoon to just mix those two dry ingredients together before we add the magic. So in a separate bowl we're going to put about four tablespoons full of water. That's a tablespoon. So pour it into the bowl. You can see the steam coming off because it is quite hot. And now we need to add some oil. So just a tablespoonful into the mixture. And now the food colouring. If you add the food colouring now it mixes really really nicely all the way through your dye, all the way through your dough. <laughs> so let's mix that round. Nice strong colour. Especially on a day like this when it's a bit cloudy. So what you want to do now is just add slowly the liquid to the flour and the salt. The hot liquid is going to dissolve the salt and make the dough stronger so that you can build some fantastic things with it. So adding it slowly I'll just show you what that looks like from the top. So still quite a lot of flour in there. You can tell that you need a little bit more water. So let's add a little bit. I tend to put too much in so I'm trying to be really careful now. So I think we're just about there. It's good to stir your mixture with a spoon or a wooden spoon or a fork because you've added hot water and also the food colouring might um, stick on your fingers. Just a little bit more water but not much. I'm not going to put the whole lot in. Okay. I'll show you what that looks like. Definitely like cooking, isn't it? Right, I think we're ready. So, you can start kneading it now, kneading it in the bowl. You just collect up those bits of flour that are left around, squeezing it and squidging it. And there we have some salt dough but it's not ready yet you need to keep on doing the kneading the pushing and the pulling you can lay it on your table just keep going pressing it down and getting all those ingredients to mix together forming a really nice modeling material Okay, so that is the end of making the salt dough. What you want to do to store it is because it's going to get hard 
if you don't cover it up. So you need to put it in a plastic bag. And then I usually put it in another container just to make sure that it keeps really nice and soft so that you can use it next time. Okay, so have fun playing. Bye-bye.